was taking a walk looking at the garden and I could not believe the size of these chives. They are stunning. I need to go pick up some white vinegar because I want to do some white vinegar with some chive flowers in it. They're beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that. It's been raining on and off, so I think today I'm going to go ahead and get a cup of coffee get my sweatshirt that can get all dirty because all my sweatshirts are ruined. The coffees, they get all stained and I can get it out. But today I think I'm gonna go spend time on potting my seedlings. I have like maybe the little trays that I showed you, maybe like eight or so that I need to up pot and I can show you the seedlings how they're doing so far. The ones that I already up potted, everything is looking really good. I'm excited, cannot wait until it gets warm and I get to plant them up for But for now, I just have a few hardening. Let me show you. These salad greens harden here. There are some kales and different type of greens. Here's some other kale. But yeah, I cannot wait. First almium bloomed and it looks so pretty. This pinkish color. I usually do the lavender, but these are so pretty. Everything is doing really good so far, but I couldn't water. We got super busy and some of these died completely down and I watered them yesterday and they're coming back. So I'm going to clean all the dead leaves so they can have a better chance. But I just did all these yesterday as the red Merlot is really yummy. And then arugula, those are zinnias. These are the daisies. Look at the coleus, how pretty those are growing. But I have all these to do. I'm gonna try to get these done today. And these have some of the true leaves, so I think the amaranth I'm also gonna try and do today. And then I have the giant Swiss chard, white and the large pink one. So I'm gonna wait because they don't have the true leaves yet so i'm gonna wait on these and the other ones that were smaller i went ahead and gave the little seedlings to my bunny because i just decided i want to grow the larger ones but yeah look how pretty they're doing they're doing really good parsley did well i had like three that one is still coming out these are slow on the oregano it's really slow but everything else is pretty good. This China Aster Apricot, these didn't come out, but these did. So that one didn't do as well, but there's other asters that did all right. And the Celosias did really well. And so did the Lace Flower, which I love Lace Flowers with Dahlias. They look so pretty together because they're so soft. So I'm going to get busy. These are the basil these are holy basil here it's super tiny but i decided to go ahead and transfer it even though it's so so tiny hopefully it'll survive and then the other ones are the cardinal basil that i have shown you that have the red flowers they're really pretty for uh, making bouquets so i wanted to grow some of those and my mini tomatoes they're doing fab and i up potted the larger tomatoes yesterday and those look like they're pretty happy. And let's see on the other side. Everything is getting so large. We were supposed to start getting warmer at the end of the week and now we're gonna get even colder. So I'm really concerned. I have some peppers back there. Um, these are the tomatillos. They're a little yellow, so I need to feed them. I'm gonna get some fish in motion. 
in a few days but everything is eggplants and this one is the borage the eggplants are where where did i put them oh, i think i put them on the other side gonfrina i didn't realize there's two gonfrinas here dill back there and then i put these peppers here i don't have a light on this side so i'm gonna have to rotate that every day so they all get good light Let's spray now that we get a little bit of warm weather but i can start moving out the salad greens so I started that already. I'm gonna move some other ones out probably end of this week to try to acclimate them. But I'm waiting on my green stalks. I need to order and I know they're gonna have a sale, so I'm waiting on that. I decided I'm gonna get two more green stalks. <laughs> I found where to place them, so I'm super excited to be able to get two more to grow more greens. These are gonfrina, and I have no idea why I have two in a pot. I don't know what I did. Just broke a leaf, which is okay. But I'm going to try to divide them. And hopefully I can do that without damaging anything. Oh, there we go. Another leaf broke, which is fine. I still have leaves. So there we go. That one's done. And this one did okay. Not to worry. And then I have the same situation on this one. I don't know what I was doing, but I have two on each pot. Oh, this one, the root is tangled. So I'm gonna take both of them out and just divide them by pulling very carefully. Put this one right back. And then I'm gonna plant this one also. And they all seem to be doing okay. And found some labels. This is the little box I use. This planter I found is what I use to keep all my labels in. I'm gonna put these in there. My hands are hurting pretty bad from all the gardening. I, I'll have to show you soon. I can't wait so you can see all the renovations that the changes I'm making in the yard. I had to carry so many stones that uh, yeah, my hands are sore, my nails all broke. I went and got a manicure, which I've not got, had in probably 20 years, and they still hurt. <laughs> I like these little packages. They come for the pen, outdoor pen pretty handy. I think there's 300. I can't remember. I'll link it below in case you need labels, but I like these labels because they're long. And then one side, it has a texture, so the ink stays there better. The other one is smooth and like shiny. I like to use the one that has the texture. It works better. I like these better than these heavy duty plastic ones. I'm trying to organize everything where all the flowers like these are zinnias are together anything that's food so I have the basil with calendula because I do preserve those and then I have like tomatoes on this side or anything that's similar that's edible I try to put together so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this cilantro that almost died on me so I'm going to clean this because since I did not water for a while 
they were starting to wilt and I just want the energy to go to the to the plant to keep going and not to try to keep the ones that are all yellow and kind of dead alive it's just I find that it helps a little bit more when I'm trying to grow these so like this super sharp pruners they're so nice because they're really really pointy so I can reach pretty far in without having to get through the plant it's a little easier these are all tangled because they wilted it let's see so I use really inexpensive soil for these and I think it's just terrible soil it gets compacted pretty bad that happy frog anything that I've grown in that happy frog has done so well I really that stuff is expensive but it's so worth it when that completely dies I'm gonna get rid of that one Hi, if you're new here, my name is Melba and I love to grow as much as I can in food and flowers in my cozy, tiny backyard. And if you're back, I want to thank you so much for the support of the channel. Here are the asters. They did okay. I got king size. I have one, two, three. And then the shan shamoi, I have two. These didn't do, didn't make it. So I'm going to go ahead. I cleaned a little and use this so I will make this one. It has a little piece of root in it, so it should be fine. That's why I like these clear plastic things because you can really take a look. And these were doing okay in here. Some of the ones I transplanted yesterday were like pretty large. The roots needed really badly to get. Just a little roof hole. I don't like to compress it too much when I transplant. But I do like to make sure that it's straight so that the leaves won't get all wet laying down. This one is the king size apricot ice aster. I think I showed all these on my seed video. You can see what they're gonna look like. That one here I'm gonna get rid of. Yeah. This is a great little tool that these little things bring. You can take them right out. I, just, I love it. Super handy. Great to make like the holes with one side and then dig out the plant with the other. There we go. 
Wow, the Celosia sponge sugar. I think this is the one that I got from Florette Farm, her new one that are heirlooms. And then this is Asian Garden, I think is one I had already. But I got way too many in here. I really don't need that many, but I have to make more soil trays. I like this size because I don't know when it's gonna get warm and I don't wanna have to transplant them. So I'm gonna get busy and do this before I start transplanting. If you have found value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It will help spread the word and reach more cozy gardeners.